Twingo Flight Mark II Loading Instructions. Step 1. Park your car appropriately. Always park your car on a hard, flat surface. Switch off the engine and apply the handbrake. Always allow 3 metres or 10 feet of space behind your car for loading and unloading. Step 2. Slide out the docking station ramps. Open the tailgate of your car. Fully extend and lower the ramps by holding and pulling the central bar. Here, you can use the assisting cane to avoid any unnecessary bending. OK labels and green indicators will confirm the ramps are fully extended. If you can see any red on the indicators, you should use the SUV kit. Step 3. Position and prepare the flight for loading. Remove the front basket by releasing the locking pin and centre basket from its magnetic retainers. Finally, release the left and right arm rests by turning the securing knobs. Step 4. The flight fold-in sequence. Ensure the seat is pushed back to its furthest position. Fold the seat back support down flat. Push the green release lever and tilt the front upwards until it locks. Now push the seat assembly forwards and down. Release the tiller's locking lever and lower the tiller onto the seat's velcro fastening. Position the flight in line with the ramp using the front bumper's yellow alignment arrows as a guide. Stop when the centre wheel makes contact with the ramp. Step 5. Engage the flight mode levers. Firstly, pull the side green lever to the red flight mode position. The front and rear lights will flash rapidly to indicate another step is necessary. Next, press down the rear green lever. The lights should now flash once per second to indicate it's now ready to load. Step 6. Using the remote to load the flight. Remove the remote control box from the rear lockable compartment. Always stand to one side of the ramps before loading and move slowly as the flight docks itself. Using the remote, press and hold the silver up button continuously. The flight will begin to drive itself up the ramps until it stops automatically. This means it's now safely loaded into your car. Once fully docked, place the remote back into the rear lockable box. Step 7. Return ramps to the docking station. Using the assistance cane if required, lift the ramps at the central bar and bring them horizontal. Slowly push the ramps fully into the car. Check the ramps are secure and close the tailgate. Pull each rear seat belt over the front basket bracket for extra security. You will now be ready to safely transport your Quingo flight.